good morning. It is Sunday and I am leaving for my haircut very shortly. It's scheduled at 12 and it's 11.30 right now. Today is like one of the few days that I feel kind of busy because I have my haircut scheduled today and then I have my vet appointment at 4 o'clock. I spaced them out just so I'm not rushing in between. So uh, I feel okay. I was up until 3, close to 4, watching the grand finals and VP lost 3-2, best of 5. But you know what? They can't win everything. They got to the finals and they had to play 8 games in one day. That is tiring. So still amazing results for them and now they have time off before TI. Ugh. I am so looking forward to my haircut though because I, I don't really understand the fact that some of some parts of my hair the ends being dry just really feels like it's getting tangled very easily compared to usual and it just feels the texture is so weird when I run my fingers through my hair like even after I apply conditioner which usually makes your hair feel really fucking smooth the ends still feel like shit so I can't wait to cut that off and uh, Man, I'll try not to think about the vet, but actually, since the vet that I'm going to is uh, right near Shane's house, I told him that I could stop by and do a very short socialization session with Rylai and Aegon. This will be the first time they are meeting. Hi! I am back from my haircut, and honestly, I mean, oh wait, damn, I'm so bad! I forgot to buy more deli meat for my sandwich. That means I'm gonna run out so soon. Man, what do I do now? I won't have, oh, let me try to use this meat sparingly. I have like some roast beef, but damn, I'm so bad. Walked Riley after my haircut and uh, it kind of sucks. I have a new neighbor. The house next door to me has been on sale for maybe like a couple months now and it was finally sold and the new people moved in like last week and what's really annoying is they have two dogs I think that they probably just leave their door open so there's a screen door there and every time I walk by with Riley I hear them whining and barking and the thing is the house that I live in doesn't have grass it sucks um the front of my house is very small and it's fake grass so i can't let her pee on that so i have to use their side of um a little bit of grass that they have to let her poop if she needs to and i obviously i pick it up but i just i guess but <laughs> I guess my point is, ideally, I don't like having to use someone else's property for her piss and poop, but I kind of have to. So I try to keep it on like the far side, closer to my house. And I mean, they haven't really said anything about it because they probably just moved in and they see that I pick up the shit that she leaves on their lawn. So I don't think they should have an issue with it, but I guess my main point is just that it's kind of, it's frustrating walking by and then hearing that nonsense. Uh, maybe it's not every day, but it's, it's kind of common and I expect it will be a common occurrence now that they freaking live there and they've purchased the house, so that means that they will be there for a while. But yeah, I mean, these are things that you can't really help or control, so kind of, can't always let yourself be frustrated by it. Hi, I am done with my vet appointment and uh, you know, it it's rough because the whole experience overall isn't even that bad, but I think just my my mentality once I'm inside is just I think my tolerance just feels kind of low or I'm like not that patient. So the weird thing is that she lost some weight. Uh, that is definitely a bit of a concern. So I'm going to increase the amount of food I give her. Like I'm definitely gonna double her portions 
her meal. I had a feeling that I was maybe giving her too little. But the thing is, um, and I know it's like a big part of dog training and dogs in general is giving them treats, right? But I've realized with both Aegon and Rylai that I just really dislike the idea of treats because the thing is, yes, they enjoy them and it's a reward, right? But at the same time, I really dislike the behavior that follows afterwards. So usually after you give a dog a treat, they're very amped up, they are very pushy, they just like constantly sniff at your hands and try to get more, right? And that was what happened where the doctor was very calm and so was the tech that was helping out, which is great. I actually thought that was awesome. I told them I appreciated it. But the thing is, they asked, the doctor asked me if she could give her treats. And normally, from now on, I'm going to say no because I, I, I realize I really hate it. But I said yes, and then she gave her a few treats. And I just did not like Riley's behavior afterwards. She was extremely amped. She was starting to push her nose into the doctor's like hands over here because she was kneeling. And so I corrected her a little bit on the e-collar. And then the doctor was like, oh, I'm just giving her treats. But I was saying that I'm correcting her because I don't like this pushy behavior that dogs tend to get after you get a treat. And Aegon was the same way. I suggested to Shane that maybe we could try to use a few treats to make his reward a little bit more fulfilling in the beginning to teach him commands. But then we noticed that after you give them one treat, they are so distracted trying to sniff your hands or trying to see if there are additional treats available for them to have. And that's just not, not behavior I like. So definitely learned something today that I despise treats and <laughs> I'm just kind of glad I got that over with. Apparently today was no cost and all we did was talk so briefly and I, it kind of, you know, I mean, I guess it was a little necessary to have a little consultation before my official health certificate day, but I just don't like coming here and I did feel like today's visit was rather unnecessary. She doesn't need any shots. Uh, her rabies and stuff are good for quite a while, so I'm pretty solid on that front, which is good. But I will have to be back in two months, so that is where we will do our exam, and then they will give me my, my certificate so I can fly to Vancouver. But now I'm going to head over to Shane's for a brief so socialization with Aegon. Sorry, I feel like when I'm ranting a little bit, I get a little out of breath, and uh... Uh, I know I can sound negative sometimes, I really don't mean to, but I, I don't. The good thing though is that nobody actually tried to pet her and she was quite good in the waiting room. I mean a little bit antsy because we're never around this many dogs and this many people and this many animals. What's up with the paw? Hold on. Yeah, that works. <laughs> I'll just see it. Just get her to minimize the reaction. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's up with the paw stars. Well, I mean, I think it's, it's play. It's a play. playful swipe. Yeah. I just want to get her to like <laughs> react with her own flashback. There you go. Down. It's like such a delay. He does it, but it's just so great. <laughs> yeah. So funny. I always have so many photos. This is nice. <laughs> Damn, it's so hot in here. Oh, 
She really does play goofy, I feel. Like the weirdest looking. It's like a synchronized. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Those like 360s and stuff. You guys have so much space. Go over there. I feel like she's like just sticking by me. Oh, maybe you don't let him do that. Hang on. No. He, he was doing that with Odin, his dog as well. And mm -hmm. I was like, that kind of makes sense. He named like, his dog Odin? I think it was already named Odin. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a funny name for a dog. Well, Odin's like in what, mythology or Thor or whatever, but he yeah. doesn't watch comic book movies at all. Like, he hates all that stuff. Ah, uh, so. okay. That would make sense. Yeah, so I think it was a pre-existing name. Shit, look at what we have here. I'm so excited to eat it because I haven't had this in months and I freaking love these noodles. I predict that I will end up getting seconds because this will not be enough to satisfy my appetite. And actually, ugh, for some reason, she drank a shit ton of water and I don't even feel like I wonder if it's like a mental exhaustion instead of physical because the vet seemed to get her amped up a bit. Where are you going? And then at Shane's house, I don't really feel like they ran around that much, but she was panting really hard. So I found that a little strange. But first thing when I came home, I fed her her meal and I made sure to give her more of it because man it doesn't feel great knowing that I have been underfeeding her so definitely giving her more food from now on we'll see if she'll put on a little weight even though I don't know if I'll be able to notice hi it's uh, Tuesday night and I have definitely been really spacing out my movies, more like I just haven't been uh, motivated to watch any for... I guess just like most days lately, I've been prioritizing playing Path over watching a movie, but tonight I decided to watch The Unknown Woman. I'm really glad that I chose to watch it today because I feel like um, even though I have been enjoying Path of Exile, uh, I definitely really want to play it significantly less because I think any type of action RPG game like that, you really get burned out because it's just a lot of repetition. I'm just grinding maps constantly, just running them over and over and over again, trying to save up enough currency to buy expensive gear. and. Even if I get the expensive gear, what am I going to be doing? The same thing, right? So um, I'm just not really into it as much anymore. Plus, like, it has definitely been fucking with my hands. So playing it less will be a good thing. Like, when I, when I turn my wrist this way, I definitely feel some sort of strain right here. And, I mean, it's definitely less right now compared to before. But I've been, like, trying to stretch out my hands way more lately. So playing less of that will be good because it's just way more interactive than something like Dota is where you click to move uh, once in a while and then you use your skills with your keyboard. So it's different. I'm just about to head into work. It is Thursday and it is my final day this week to go to work. And then I have my one day vacation tomorrow and then the weekend. So I am quite looking forward to it. I have this apartment meeting uh, 10 a.m. I mean it's not super early by any means but it's early and it, it like forces me to be in by a certain hour when I normally don't feel compelled to so I have that I really hope I really hope it doesn't put me to sleep because those types of things really do put me to sleep and it would look bad if I was like struggling to stay awake so uh, I kind of get the feeling it'll happen anyways. 
And then, uh, oh yes, I watched Southpaw last night. I watched it over. I really, really like Jake Gyllenhaal, and he is so good in that movie, like, incredible. So, I feel like I kind of want to watch over some of his movies because Donnie Dargo, I know, is very famous. I watched that one when I was a freshman in college, and I did not pay attention, or I was kind of creeped out by the bunny. <laughs> so, I need to watch it over now that I'm older, I'm not afraid, and I need to see if I like this movie in it see if I actually consider it quite good because I think it's been so long and I was too young I feel like at that age to really appreciate a movie like that so definitely need to watch that over sometime very soon but holy crap my arm is getting tired 